spirited practice. You'll see a, uh, a team that um, practices like champions, practice like that, and lost the game with great enthusiasm and intensity. And you'll see uh, a lot of the players who you haven't seen lately uh, participating in practice. So it's, uh, it's a good day to be a minor um, so far. We'll be going up Wednesday, practice tomorrow at noon. Today at noon, Wednesday we travel. We have a lot of activities planned up there on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday we practice at noon. Friday we'll practice at four ish, I think 334 uh, at the stadium. You guys are welcome to come to those practices. BYU press will be excluded from those practices. You guys are welcome to come to the practices. And um, and then we'll have the, the, the bands going to be performing the uh, 4.30, I think, and we might run over there and watch them for 15 minutes with our team. Our scout, one of our scout reports told us, and we've been watching film, um, they have a real solid defense, um, big, strong defensive front, very strong linebackers, good secondary, one of their secondary um, players is the kid that we recruited here uh, six years ago. Andy Rich is in the cat position for them. I coached his dad, and I know his dad and mom real well. He visited here before he went on his mission, and now he's starting senior, so it makes me feel even older when I see him and Bronco Melton Mendenhall uh, out there coaching here. When I see those guys, it makes me feel kind of old and excited and competing against them. But offensively, 6 6, 3 15, across the board on offensive line. Average age is about 32. Uh, four kids. Um, and a uh, very good offensive line. Huge. A young quarterback that's a true freshman. Uh, Jay Keeps from uh, Issaquah, Washington, nationally. But uh, now he's playing. He has 12 games under his belt. We probably would have liked to have gotten him out of the first game to go against us. But now he's, he's a vet. He's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the history of BYU. Very, very good, very accurate with the ball. Uh, they're not doing their whole offense with him yet, but he will be a great player there, and he's a very good player now. Solid running backs that are hard to bring down, that will run through tackles. That's a major concern I have for our defense right now, is that we haven't been tackling a lot. Um, we're, we tackle every day, and today will be probably the last day that we tackle and bring anybody down. So, um, missed tackles is a big concern against this team. Um, and they got receivers that catch the ball. So, and their special teams are solid. They're a solid football team that could be one of the hottest teams in America, one of the best teams going into the bowl game with their record. I think their defense has been the biggest difference between their first five or six games. Um, Coach Mendenhall took over the chore of calling defenses kind of became the defensive coordinator, or at least the defensive play selector for defense. Bronco did, about halfway through the season. So they're running the same defense, but they're just doing those things at different times during the game. And it just seemed like he had, it just kind of gave more uh, to the defense, and uh, they played better defensively. And I'd say, I'd say, Mendenhall taking over the defensive reins, huge difference. And their quarterback just going with one quarterback rather than Riley and Heaps uh, alternating. They just went with Heaps and he got better as the season ended. Those two, cha two changes that he made in the BYU uh, team uh, was really great changes and that enabled them to win four out of their last five games. When I was at Weber State, I recruited Bronco Mellon Hall. He was at Snow as a defensive back. His brother was playing for me. Marty was a linebacker for me. Uh, he was Mr. Utah, weightlifting. Marty was his brother, and, and Bronco was a defensive back. And Snow was playing in a bowl game in Tulsa, and uh, I bought a, joined the Boosters Club at Snow and bought a ticket for the plane and went with the Boosters and the men and the on the on the plane to uh, Tulsa as a booster. Now, whether that was against NC2A rules or not, I was the athletic director and I was in charge of compliance, so I didn't see any rules that were there. Today, I don't think I did any play 
Boys closed the door then at Oregon State. And that's where he, he, he played at Oregon State, and that's where he met Rocky Long and developed a relationship with Rocky Long. And uh, the defense that, uh, of course, we used a year ago is the same defense that they're running. They we're pretty good health-wise going in. It's going to be a healthy team. I think uh, ESPN just got, got up here with them. And we're asking him about what the biggest change that we have made in the last three weeks. I think it's just getting healthy. You know, we've got Tam Conberg back, Eloy Atkinson back at center, and Nathan Cage back, and three centers that can play the game. Uh, Buckram is better. Uh, Chris uh, Adams is better. Uh, everyone, that, you know, our linebackers are all better now. They're not hurt. Uh, safeties are better now. They're not bruised up and hurt. The whole team is healthier. Feels like playing more. That's why I'm, I need to be real careful about what we do today in, in practice. I'm just kind of on thin ice right now, seeing how this practice is going to go up on me. Because it's going to be a little bit difficult in the rough and hit each other a little bit, but I want to make sure that we stay healthy. So this will be the last of the um, and kind of get me chicken here to do what we're we plan to do, but we'll see how that goes. Trevor's uh, no worse. He's no better. He's, uh, he can, there's nothing that can happen to him worse than it is right now. Healing process at all that can happen. He's going in Monday to get operated, and it'll be a, it'll be an extensive operation on his ankle. So he's just doing this for the pure uh, pride of El Paso and Utah. He could pull himself out. Should have pulled. Could have pulled himself out at any time in the last four or five games. Went in for the surgery. Been ready for the combine. Been ready for the All Star game. Chose to stay with the team and to do his best, get us to a bowl, and then be the quarterback in the bowl. And without Trevor, we wouldn't have been here. And without Trevor's excellent play Saturday, we won't win. Those of you that have been in practice know the practices have been just really uh, fired up, enthusiastic, having lots of fun, but working really, really hard. So I felt like the guys have really got the idea of what it's all about. You know? up there to win and uh, to play our very, very best and to show that we're better than our record. We got a little chip on our shoulder and, and we want to show off and, you know, and so they're giving everything they got to these practices. I'm telling you, um, it's, we're, at, we're working hard. Uh, the hardest part is losing your momentum and um, uh, since we had no momentum and um, Finding our momentum is something that we're, we're planning to do. Um, but for some teams that play later in the year, you do lose momentum. You do get a little rusty. And, and, but this game's close enough where I don't think that's going to, we only really gave them one week off. And we're back on track. But during, everyone's going to kind of give the, the, the team times off for finals. So all the schools will, will be doing that. But if you play late, you play. January 6th or something like that, it is, a, it is a factor. You can lose momentum, you can uh, lose your intensity. We haven't had, I don't think that's an issue for us at all. I feel like we did uh, finish strong. BYU uh, won four out of their last five and missed a field goal against Utah to, to, uh, to be five and oh to run on that run. Um, but I think in looking at the tapes and looking at the games, they finished stronger than we did. We finished strong with great attitude and great desire and, and making some plays and playing it close. And they, their team improved, their quarterback improved, uh, their defense improved as they finished the season. Um, I don't know if our quarterback improved as we finished the season. He played as hard as he could possibly play and played as good as he could possibly play. I'm not saying that. You know, he's, he's a senior. The difference in improvement for a senior is going to be a little bit. For a freshman, it's going to be a lot. On defense, the key to victory is stopping the run. Putting them in long yardage situations where they hand the ball over their quarterback and make him make the plays. And then we have to get to him in that situation and cover the guys. On offense, uh, we need to... Uh, uh, our pass offense has to be good. Vitito has to throw. Uh, we have to make catches. We will 
run when we can, and the defense gives us that opportunity. Bingo, we check to a run in a New York minute. But um, for us to win, we feel like we're going to have to get the ball downfield and throw it. Play good in special teams. Special teams is kind of a, but we've got to stop their run, make with them in the throwing situation, and we've got to connect on our, in our passing games. I guess is what I really mean. Not that with Buckram back, he's running really good. That's going to help our, our uh, running game. But that's not the problem. They slam so much, they have a lot of guys in the box. They take away the run with their alignment. Um, they have one more guy up there than you can block a lot of times, so they force you to throw. If, they, if that's the case, if they align like that, we better throw the ball, and we better catch it, and we better be accurate with it. If that's not the case, then we'll run the ball. We're going to do what they give us. But I got a hint, I got a feeling that they're going to stack the box, not allow us to run, and, and make us throw to win. Now, Banyard is no slouch either. So uh, I'm not sure Banyard isn't every bit as good as Buckman. That was a trick plays, but the more plays that you add in this situation, the worse it gets, I think. We're, there's nothing we wouldn't do to win this game. So we're, we've investigated everything, and we'll be doing some of those. But trick plays, the more you put in in a game situation, in both games, I think Bob would, would, would echo this. That's not really smart. Just go with Guy to the dance. You know, bring the gal that, that you used to dance with, bring her to the dance, the final dance, and you got a chance to win the dance contest. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna bring the guys that got us there, put the place that got us there, and, uh, and pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what we want to do. I know how fired up we are going to be. We're going to really be fired up. Um, aren't we? Is this community fired up about us playing BYU? I mean, I haven't felt this kind of uh, enthusiasm since, uh, you know, since the uh, New Mexico State type of game. So uh, we're fired up. We feel that too. The team does. BYU, I don't know. 